Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. Um, today we are building a Mars, uh, not Mars, Duna craft. Yeah, so today we're basically uh, putting, you can watch me put together the craft that I'm planning on sending all the way out to Duna and yeah. Um, and, uh, well, I'm going to send it all the way out to Duna, and then I'm going to return it from Duna, uh, all in one mission, but it's going to be in two separate episodes. So this is the part one where I built the rocket in space. Um, this isn't just me just sitting here in the VAB. No, I will actually be launching this piece by piece into space. And, yeah. Uh... If you would like to see more of my content uh, in the future, if you liked this video, uh, well, you know, uh, yeah, it would be nice to get, like, you know, just a good little, you know, subscribe. I'm almost to uh, 700 subscribers. Uh, yeah, I haven't been around a lot, so uh, the amount hasn't changed that much since January, which is insane. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I can't believe I've barely done any videos since January. It's it's kind of wild. Uh, I can actually check how many videos I've done since January. Let me let me give a little a little look here. Uh, I have done uh, I have done like four four or five videos since January. Probably six or seven, maybe. No, I've done I've done six videos since January. Yeah, and that's been too long. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a whole lot more. Uh, my semester last fall was pretty rough, and then I had a rough summer. But I did have a really fun trip. Took up a good portion of the summer, so that's that was good. That was that was amazing. Um, I don't know why I've pa I paused so much while building this. I think I had something else to do. At the time I was building this, uh, but that's fine. I it just gives me more time to talk to you. So, yeah, in uh, in my last couple of videos, I've just been doing, you know, just random stuff. Anyway, this is this is a purpose-built mission to go to uh, Duna and back, and I'm currently working on the lander down here at the bottom. It's going to have uh, parachutes, basically everything I'll ever need to get to the ground of Duna and back. Uh, yeah. And uh, I'm thinking about starting a modded playthrough uh, pretty soon. Uh, I've already downloaded some of the mods for this. Um, I'm also thinking about returning to, uh, well, my, um, my realistic solar system. Uh, series or just starting it over I think I should start over on that one uh, yeah but I'm going to basically make a For All Mankind S series uh, For All Mankind after like uh, Beardy and, uh, the Beardy Penguin and Carnassa and uh, N9 uh, after their series it's not going to be quite like theirs but uh, it'll it'll have some stuff to do with it. Um, I was basically just experimenting with it last time I even uh, brought it around. So this time I am actually going to, you know, try to deliver on more of those videos. Uh, yeah. And then I'll also be doing some Kerbal Space Program 1 videos. Because uh, it's been... been uh, well, let me think. Uh... My last video that got over 1k views, which is, you know, I was getting them pretty regularly a while ago. Yeah, my last video that got it was in, well, five months ago. But granted, I've only made three videos since then. Uh, one video four months ago, one video two months ago, one video a month ago, which is uh, not a pretty good record if you... Uh, you do that but yeah uh, 
what else have I been up to? Uh, I'm thinking about starting a second channel for just random stuff. I'm still thinking about it. Uh, I have all the I have a whole bunch of footage for that channel, but I don't know if I should start it yet or not. It's it's fine if I don't. Uh, yeah, so I went on a really cool vacation over the summer. I went to basically like half of the states in the United States, which was pretty cool. Uh, I've gone to 25 states over the past literally three months, which is insane. Uh, what else have I done? Well, I mean, that's the main thing I did. Went to the Grand Canyon, I went to Yellowstone, went to the Badlands, went to the St. Louis Arch. Uh, I, I went everywhere. Yeah, I've been all over the place in the last couple of months. But yeah, here we are. We're launching the, uh, the crude portion of the launch vehicle. Here it is. Now, it's going to be... Uh, I'm putting it in a decently high orbit, just so, uh, you know, well, I mean, it's not exactly decently high, but it, it'll be, it'll be, you know, higher than normal. And there we go. Uh, we're starting the circularization burn. I sped it up just a little bit because it was taking a while. And yeah, here we go. We're in orbit, and now I'm going to circularize the orbit, or like, I'm gonna raise the orbits. Well, I'm gonna circularize it, not... Yeah, I've been... Yeah, I've been not doing this enough recently, so I'm I'm losing the, the terminal, the terms. Yeah, anyway, oh, oh, oh. I don't know why it's lagging like that. All right. Yeah, that lag is uh, not, uh, that was not KSP. My KSP was not lagging like this. I, I don't know why it's doing this. But you can see that the tuba engine on the back of that rocket is uh, a little messed up. But uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and I wanted to test out the tuba, tuba rockets, or the tuba and the other thing on this mission. Which I did get to do. Um, they're a little bit glitchy at the time, but this this lag, uh, it's it's not it's not what I was seeing, which is unfortunate. Oh, it looks like it's fixed itself now. Nope, no, it's not. I, I wonder what's causing that, because I, I I didn't have lag then. Yeah, see, I had to turn it off and then back on again. Uh, Maybe it's because I've sped up the thing, or maybe it's because my editing software uh, absolutely wants me to pay them. Uh, no, I already paid you a lifelong fee. You should. Like, okay, let me just rant about want to share Filmora real quick. Now, it's not a very expensive one. Oh, yeah, now here's, I, I, I skipped ahead. You just get to see this one meet uh meet up with the uh other half all right so it's not a super expensive uh like video editing app on the computer it's it's not particularly expensive at all but it's it's my problem with it comes with the fact that i had to I paid a lifelong license to it. And then after a certain update, they're like, oh no, uh, your lifelong up, uh, your lifelong license, uh, that doesn't count anymore. And it, you have to pay us again, which is fucking bullshit. It, it pisses me off to my core. The fact that I paid for a lifelong license literally three or four years ago, and now you want more money from me. But I paid for a lifelong license. It pisses me off. It makes me so angry. But, ah, uh, whatever. 
Yeah, here I am. I'm deorbiting this piece so it can hit the ground. Save uh, the solar bears. Um, you know. Keep the solar bears nice and healthy. But yeah. Here, uh, here I am building the, uh, the second, well, the, uh, the propulsion stage. You know, the, the, the stage that'll get me out into, uh, well, all the way out to Duna. Uh, so here I am just tweaking around with it. Tweaking around. Tweaking it around. Because, uh, it, it, it's kind of a complicated, uh, kind of a complicated, uh, structure. Because I was trying to see how to, how to do this and put a fairing on it. And guess what? They fixed the fairings! That is like one of my biggest problems with this game is that they the fairings were like just terrible at first. But they fixed them. They, they fixed them. Now if they could just fix the wobbly rocket problem, we'd be we'd be set. Like I, I wouldn't care at all. Like we'd be set. I, I, every other bug I'd, I'm okay with because I got almost every other bug in KSP1 too. So like, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but if the wobbly rockets and the fairings were fixed, that's that's good enough for me. Uh, but yeah, so we got the, the, the fairings done. Uh, I was thinking about doing a really weird engine design for this one, but I uh, decided not to. Decided to go for something more fun at first and then i was just like i don't know about that maybe if i just do like just a ton of those around it or yeah do that oh i don't remember if i went with this but i'm pretty sure i went with this i remember it was kind of like wobbly i i recorded this like a month ago by the way but yeah here it is there's the uh there's the whole rocket all ready to go and now i'm about to put it on the pad oh uh, well i needed to put lights on it first because uh can't have a you know spaceship that's not well lit come on but yeah here it is launching off the pad it's uh it was a little bit of a wobbly one uh like i said the the wobbliness is painful Although, it's understandably wobbly in this case. Because, I mean, look at how... I mean, the fairing is larger than the rest of the rocket. I mean, it, it's understandably wobbly. But, uh, yeah, I had to separate it here into, you know, the first and second stage. It was, it was, it was ridiculous. Uh, but, yeah. Here's the... Uh, little circularization burn or the uh, orbital injection burn and there we go I got it now I re I'm remembering these things orbital injection burn I think maybe I'm wrong about that uh, I'll get these words back I'll get these words back they'll go back into my vocabulary soon I'll, I'll start remembering them but yeah here we are we're finishing up the uh, the burn uh, we only have about 20 seconds left of this burn uh, there is a new glitch I think or not a new glitch new bug that is uh, kind of annoying me it's the burn time glitch the burn times are weird but I think it's I think it's mostly user error because they changed how the burn times work so I'm I'm like it's weird I don't know I have I have problems with it sometimes Anyway, there we go. There is our, uh, our, our, uh, you know, when we encounter it. And here we are coming in close. I have to get it a little bit closer. Look at that. Look at that. Only 3,000 meters apart. That's pretty impressive. Oh, that's why it's picking up in a weird pattern. There we go. That's cardioid mode. That that should uh, that should sound a little bit better. Hmm. All right. 
So here we are uh, slowing down so that we can encounter. Oh no, that's yeah. I guess it's we're we're changing our inclination so we can encounter the thing, and now we're slowing down. Uh, I started flipping about. Now I have to go and chase it because I I stopped my burn a little too late. But uh, thankfully, that nuclear engine is just absolutely insane. So yeah, here we are. I'm burning to the uh, Mars vehicle. And uh, yeah, there it is. We're almost, uh, we're almost to docking it and almost to the end of this episode. Well, I guess I have like a minute or two or something. Uh, anyway, this, the docking in this game is still messed up for me. I don't, I, I miss the docking mode from KSP1. I kind of preferred that to what we've got now. If we could get docking mode back, that would be amazing. Or if we could get something similar, because remembering all the weird keys on the on the right side of the keyboard, because I always used the keys on the left side of the keyboard. I know some people use the keys on the right. I was not one of those people. And so I'm kind of missing out on docking mode. So if there's any like mods or anything that can help me do the docking and stuff like that, it would be amazing if anyone would tell me about them. Because uh, that would be so useful. Uh, but here I am uh, going a little too fast around the corner. Um, also, the docking indicator mod was just amazing. It made everything so much easier. But yeah, here I am. I'm kind of messing up the docking because I don't know which which keys do which. So I was uh, royally screwing up how to dock this craft. There we go. Now, uh, now I'm kind of facing it. And uh, yeah, we're about to come to the end of this video um so yeah if you if you like this video even though it was kind of not as great as previous videos if you, if you like this video please give me you know a good old a like give me a good old subscribe it would be very helpful uh you know it just it just helps i mean i haven't been doing stuff in a minute so my view my view count is down all that stuff so yeah if you could just help me out in that respect and then I'll be back to be making more videos in no time uh, just just like last year just like the year before um, weekly uploads are back they're back and uh, you'll see that next week and yeah uh, that's basically all I've got time for. Peace out. Have a good time.